First, let's take a look at the Help Center. You can access our library of helpful articles and videos directly from your web app by simply clicking the question mark icon in the top right corner of your screen. The Help Center is a fantastic resource if you have any questions, need some ideas, or are interested in best practices. Just type in a few keywords and click on the article that you'd like to read. You can also open the article in full screen by clicking the expand icon in the top right corner. To access your profile, click on the avatar next to the help icon. From the drop down menu, select account. This will bring you directly to the account profile page. However, you can also access any of the other sections by clicking the team or settings tabs to the left. From the account tab, you can make updates to your personal information such as first and last name, purpose, and address. Just click edit, then type in the updates that you need to make and click save changes. Next, you have the option to change your password by clicking the edit button. Simply type in your current password, then the new password you are changing it to, confirm that, and click save password. The subscription section will give you information about the type of subscription associated with the account that you are logged into. If you ever have questions about your subscription or need to change your payment method, you can do so from this section. If you are a developer, information about your developer applications can be found beneath, and you'll also find a link to modify your developer applications on our developer site. If you are not a developer, here you'll find a link to request developer access if you need it. If you have access to a team account, you can invite members to your team and view your team member list in the Team tab. To add a member, click Invite Members. Enter the email addresses of anyone you'd like to invite into the field, and then click Send Invites. If adding more than one team member at a time, be sure to enter a comma between each email address. Each member will receive a unique registration link that they can use to create an account and log in. If you want to quickly find the member that you are looking for, you can use the search bar as well as sort the list alphabetically by name or email. Thanks for joining me, and remember, to view other helpful tutorial videos and articles, be sure to visit support.biodigital.com.